Hey guys, Shilabix here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Today I'm joined with me by... Hi, I'm Mount Ranger. And let's continue on with the game. Now, a lot of you may remember Mank Ranger from previous series, such as Let's Play Streets of Rage 3. And Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. <laughs> what about final Let's Plays? <laughs> yeah. But, um, for the, the long-term subscribers out there, probably none of you, you might remember uh, Mike Ranger because about eight months ago we actually did a co-commentary on Final Fantasy 7 and even longer than that, about a year ago would you believe, um, we first started doing a co-commentary of this. Time just flies by. I know, yeah, a year. But you know what though, I think we've uh, made some improvements. I mean, we didn't mess up the intro. <laughs> And yep, yeah, and I didn't have to remove the audio from it and post commentate over it. <laughs> that was just pure, partly because I couldn't see what the hell was going on because screen share had messed up. And you were cooking something in the microwave in the background. My microwave? Yeah. Jeez, it must have been loud. That's how, that's how professional we were. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, I need to get some uh, gear equipped. Ah, Vincent. How I do not miss you. Um. <laughs> See, I, I never use Vincent practically, like, ever. I, I'll, I'll, I always pick him up just for completion's sake, but. Yeah, I. He's quite cool. I mean. I would have. Oh, I want material growth. Um. I would have used him all the way, but. Uh, his limit break's quite temperamental. Yeah, especially sort of like the I think the level one one's actually fire based, and then you, you come across uh, a fire based enemy, and you're like, crap, you're healing. Mm. Well, there was um, his chainsaw element's quite good, I think. Yeah, I think he, he kicks more ass in Dirge of Cerberus. Never played that. I've I've only played it fleetingly, mm. uh, but I, I quite enjoyed it. I can I can emulate it quite well actually. <laughs> okay. Um... What do you think I should get equipped? Oh, Quadra Materia, excellent. Did oh, I tell so you? I managed to pull off the glitch for that. Oh, with the, the high winds. Yeah. I yeah. was like, well, here we go, guys. I'm going to attempt this. Um, I'm obviously not going to get it, but I might as well show it for the hell of it. Couldn't do it first. <laughs> couldn't do it second time. Got it, on the, got it on the third go, and I was like, okay, wow, I've just blown my own mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, Quadra Magic. Let's get with... Odin. Odin Quadra Magic? Oh yes. Actually, well, it can do no. magic. It can do summons as well, I think. Well, no, what I mean by that is Odin, if you're going to be using it against normal enemies, then it's just, you're uh, not going really to need to use it four times. Good point. Well, and, oh, it's always good to be able to have MP Turbo. It's yeah. not just over... Actually, no, wait. Who did I equip with um, Contain? I always, For some reason, I always do it with Sid. Actually, I think I'm going to... No, no, I had it on Tifa because I gave it to her so she could have some kick-ass mag magic. But there we go. Contain now. Contain has the ability to freeze, break, tornado, and flare. So I don't know why they called it Contain. It's basically like your level 4 magic, really. I know, but... Ugh, it's, why the name Contain? It's, yeah, it's a stupid name. Mm. Alright, let's get... Um, that's Mastered, so I'll, oh, I'll do that for the hell of it. Are you going to sell your Mastered all, or are you? I could do, actually, and buy the, um, the villa in Costa del Sol. Um, just, just for no reason whatsoever. Mm. <laughs> oh... As you can tell, I'm not too bothered about what materia he has. <laughs> Magic Plus, yeah, you can have that. Odin, why not? See, I've always sort of, like, been really picky as to how I, I equip the materia. I've never really sort of... Thought, you know, done it the way that you seem to be doing it, where you're more concerned about the growth. Hmm. I mean, well, I've got oh. added cut. Added cut. I like to keep that because that's useful for cloud, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but you're not. You're not really going to be cutting stuff with Vincent, are you? No. <laughs> it, it gives him a second shot, I think. Oh. It's Vincent. Um. I'll tell you what, I think we can manage without that. Yeah. Orc here. Added effects, I don't see the point in that. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, we're taking our sweet time as usual. Well, I. 
get that off the screen. Okay. Um, I think we're ready. No more gotta talk to you again. Just do that. Make sure. And let's get on. So, um, you're the expert, Mank Ranger. Is there any particular place we have to go first, or? Well, um, you've just dropped Cloud off in Medeal, haven't you? Hmm. So, do we have to go to, say, Coral, then Fort Condor, or can we go to either? To be perfectly honest, I don't think it matters. Um, I can't I don't... see why it would. Yeah, I mean, to be perfectly honest, I always just go for um, Fort Condor first, just because it's closer. Hmm. Um, by the way, guys, small thing now, I don't know if you noticed, but Pilot in Training is now level 6. He's learning fast. <laughs> Does that actually do anything, though? He's just like, he starts off like, ah, and then he's like, oh, just, let's rock. <laughs> okay. I'm so glad I finally got the higher wind. Right. So, Fort Condor, you reckon? Yeah. Christ, it's, it's a trip down memory lane, and I actually made it over there. <laughs> Have you still been keeping up with the Fort Condor battles, or have you? No. I mean, it's good for perfect game, but I've been, I've been saying most of the parts where you can go back and do it, but the items I don't think are really worth it. Yeah. Like free potions, <laughs> backtracking. Ooh. Okay. Um. Now I can't really remember my um tactics for Fort Condor, but don't worry, that's why I have you here. <laughs> I basically just set a load of fighters in a line. <laughs> Sounds like a good method, I mean. Uh, not exactly like I'm short for gill at the moment. Nah. Alright, sir. You've come at a good time. Shinra's changing its tactics now. What strategy? It seems that Shinra will destroy the reactor and then take out the material that's inside. Um. What material? Is it me or is there no game audio? That's because I'm streaming it to you via Skype. Oh right, so there's no audio with it, that's fine. Um, I can get it sorted out after the 20 minute mark when I pause recording. Fair dues. No, I was just making sure that it wasn't something on your end. <laughs> nah, nah. I've... Yeah, I can hear it, so... Don't worry guys, it's all good, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't mean to scare everyone. <laughs> um... I was like, they have sort of like the worst items and materia when you're when you're on the world map. Mm. Here it is. I can actually buy others now. That's good. Um, I don't know why I even came up here. <laughs> it's like it's got fire, cure, ice, lightning. Well, they got, ah, but they've improved it. Mm, they've got all. That's fair enough. Um, death blow. Well, there you go, guys. If you ever need any materia, the places do um. I think they just upgrade it after each disc, probably. Mm-hmm. Except, you know, places like Midgar. Yeah. Speaking of Midgar, I can't remember. Did I get the... Um... The key to Sector 5. You're on it? Nope. No, you didn't. But we can get that another time. Don't worry, guys. Okay, it's down... Nope, that's the bedroom. No, no, what am I? No, yeah, like, get off. Sick, you spaz. Up here. Dude, dude, dude. Alright, sir. It's amazing he's still standing on that cardboard box. <laughs> it's like a statue. And there's a condor. Oh no, it's more like one of them guys outside Bunk Buckingham Palace. <laughs> <laughs> what a beef eater. Yeah. The situation has changed. Looks like the enemy is set to attack. If we lose here, it's over. Well, you've had about ten other fights since I've been away on my quest, so I think you can handle them. Are we ready? Yeah. We're ready. I've got tons of material, so I'm just thinking of splashing out, really. Hmm. Okay. What, just just letting them get all the way up to the top and just fight in the shed? <laughs> Could do. But we, we might as well do it the proper way, yeah. Um. Yeah, basically, try and set out a line at the, sort of like the lowest point that you can. Hmm. Get a couple of those... Stoners and that. Yeah, catapults. Fire catapults, no. 
difference between... Yeah, I'll just get some fighters. Why not? Gills. I do. Gills not really a worry of mine. Put you there. Um, put one here. Actually, I'll put about... <laughs> I'll put about three down for each bit. Do you think that's good? Yeah, what... What I tend to do though, as well, is what as soon as it starts. I mean, I used to always just sort of like make him stand and wait for for the enemy to come to him. Mm. But it's better to bring your defensive line towards yeah. the bottom. I mean, I like I like pushing him down right at the start, then getting as far down as possible, then literally just setting up the um like the fire cast bolts and that here, so that you know they just yeah well on the enemy. Right. It just so sort of shows how rubbish I was at this as a kid. <laughs> well, I'm not much better now as a uh, young adult. <laughs> okay, let's get this started. Let's get that speed up. You lad. <laughs> Move right Attack. down. Actually, I'll set it to lower speed so I can get them all set up. You lad, get stuck in. You can as well. Du -du -du. I've got a map. I mean, of all the games, Final Fantasy VIII is probably my favourite Final Fantasy, but I must admit, Final Fantasy VII really was good for mini games. Yeah. Compared to VIII, with literally just triple triad, which I enjoyed, yeah. but I mean, it, it, Chocobo it Racing, the arcade, you know. Doesn't really compare. Mm. And neither does Nine in that. Come on, no. lads, let's get stuck in. Probably. Never actually completed nine. Ah, uh, nine's a close favourite of mine. Right, got that. I get a fire catapult for the uh, for the bants. <laughs> and yeah, why and not? They're gonna get set on fire. I didn't mean to put a fighter there. Oops. Go on, attack. I'll oh, set one up there. Which now it's about there. Sorry about this, guys. Have you moved yet? Come on. That's why you need. Now you set up, set the speed higher again. Yeah, I've just let that one get out of the way. Uh, a ah. bit more. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you. <sighs> what well, I wouldn't give to have you killed. <laughs> um. Right. Let's get you set up for the bands, and we're back in business. And try stoners, yeah, why not? We're gonna go all out on this, guys. <laughs> no expense spared. I mean, it's not like we have to worry about Gil anymore. But no. <laughs> to be fair, I never really did. <laughs> Boom. This is combat at its best. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't move. Attack. No. Come on. And let's turn the speed down again. And why not? We're gonna go all out. And there we go. Mank Range is just laughing at me in the background. <laughs> Yeah. It, the only annoying thing about this, though, is it doesn't tell you how many enemies you've got initially. So it's like you, it say it only says how many are actually on the mountain. So it's like you might think, oh, I've only got four left, but then <laughs> another ten will spawn in about two minutes. Yeah. Oh god. Do 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 do. Now, oh. come on, just attack. Fire boy, fire boy. And you, my friend, I'll set you up there. <laughs> and we're, we're up in business. Now you, you might be a problem. Maybe not. <laughs> Someone <laughs> gonna get their ass kicked. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, Mike Granger, Granger, why don't you tell these guys about your upcoming plan for uh, Final Fantasy? Um, well, well, if you want to talk about it, of course. It it kind of got blown 
that out the water for, for now because I can't seem to get the PC version of Final Fantasy VII working. Oh, of course, I'm doing the modded version. I've, I've, yeah. yeah. I was hoping to do uh, 7 and 8 at the same time, but that is only going to work if I can actually have them both working. Mm. So, you're just going to do 8 for the time, or...? Um, I might just put it off and do it with, in with another batch of LPs. Ah, uh, alright. No gear solid? Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. All that gear we spent. <laughs> we did it! Sounds like Dora the Explorer. We did it! We did it! Ah! <laughs> 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 I'm guessing that's the uh, condor. There's one lazy condor though. Not even sat on the egg. Hmm. Uh oh. The condor's dead. <laughs> so the point of protecting Fort Condor. <sighs> Just for the Condor to suffer a heart attack and fall <laughs> off the reactor. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think, though, that the point of it is because you'll get a certain material in a minute. Indeed. That, that it's all to do with sort of, like, rebirth and new life sort of thing. So I don't... I'm thinking that they're trying to imply that Mm. Sort of ri rising from the ashes of itself. Yeah. And is it me or does that look more like a massive chocobo? Yes, it does. <laughs> it's not exactly got the wingspan of a condor, has it? <laughs> well, there you go. We got some Phoenix Materia, which will actually come, um, I don't know if you'll agree, but it will come quite in use um, for a certain bit later on in the game. <laughs> Top of the mountain. Top of the mountain! Top of the mountain to ya! <laughs> <sighs> Fire, um... Yeah, equip that. Let's get the Phoenix equipped. There we go. Not that much more, um... Summon material to collect, really. I think the only other one that I can think of, apart from the optional one, is, um... Bahamut Zero? Yep. Yeah. The final version of Bahamut. But, um, that's pretty much it, I think. For the record, um, I'm not going to spoil anything, but the final sum, well, not the final, but the optional summon we can get is in one of the me Materia Caves that I was talking about earlier. Right, so, what do we do now? Um, do we go bother with the huge Materia, or...? Oh, you talk to him, and he, uh... Oh, he gives it to us. Yeah. Everyone thanks her, I really mean it. Okay. Huge materia. It's not that huge if we can carry it in our pocket. <laughs> Although, yet again, I was it? It's meant to just have 20 times the energy of a normal bit of materia? Yeah. Although, if you see Advent Children and the size of a piece of materia, it fits in your hand anyway, so it's mm. like. They're, they're gonna need to take it out with a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Although, I, I don't get materia. How. In real life concept, how would you equip it? Would you literally just put it on a slot on your sword? Yeah, I mean, that's it. I've seen, um, like, obviously, again, I'm taking from Advent Children, but there are actually two holes in the, um, like, the Buster Sword. Like, you'd have two two slots for Materia. Mm -hmm. And I think, I'm assuming that they would just get placed there. Well, there you go. I mean, I, I'm not pointing flaws in 7 or anything, but, you know, just question. Um, makes a lot more sense than 8, though. I mean, how, how do you junction material to yourself? Hmm. <laughs> but it's a game. If you really care that much. Yeah. I mean, I'll say, yet yeah, again, uh, Advent Children, but they're one of the main sort of bad guys. He, he sort of show, actually physically showed him equipping material to an armlet or something. Mm. And it just sort of, like, it, it sort of melted into it. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, Which I, was a bit... I, I guess that could make sense. But, anyway guys, um, we're coming up to 20 minutes now, um, 
It's quite good actually. We've done um, a part of the storyline in one video. Anyway, I've been Shellabex. I've been Mount Ranger. And we'll see you next time, guys. Have a good day. Bye bye.